make that clap loud for Jesus thank you Lord please join me lift up your hands before the Lord in holy adoration let's thank him from the depth of our hearts let's give him the glory due to him no one like him Jesus we are gathered together to you again for unto you shall the gathering of your people be and you never ask anyone to seek you in vain our being here tonight shall not be in vain it shall be for our gains in the precious name of Jesus we thank you blessed be your name in Jesus glorious name we are prayed Amen. Heavenly Father it is unto you that we have gathered we have gathered to you the light the wisdom the enlightenment the empowerment tonight reach out to everyone Amen. reach out to everyone Amen. let your word run swiftly Amen. let your word be effectual Amen. let utterance be given let every soul be blessed amen. thank you mighty father and all the saints of god who believe say very loud amen, amen. please be seated i can see you want to clap do it very well for the lord if it is for him tonight it's my privilege to bring this first word in the encounter night day four and this teaching is captioned understanding the wonders of dedication understanding the wonders of dedication and I like us to quickly read from John chapter 12 verses 23 all the way to 26 as our text and Jesus answered them as he is answering each of us tonight for what I say to one I say to all the hour is come that the son of man should be glorified your hour has come for glorification and this is the process verse 23 he told us what will happen verse 24 the process verily verily i say unto you except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die it abided alone but if it die it bringeth forth much fruit he that loveth his life shall lose it and he that ate his life in this world shall keep it or elongate it unto life eternal if any man serve me dedicatedly let him show it by following me and where i am there shall also my servant be if any man serve me him will my father honor god will honor you Amen. i say god will honor you understanding the wonders of dedication every child of god is a seed after the order of christ jesus came as a seed and his glorification was not known until he died so death is passage to life if you don't want to die god does not reckon with you if you pity a seed not to sow it to the ground it has no future the hope of the seed is the soil the helper of the seed is the soil so also the helper of our destiny is dedication in this subject we want to see how 
powerful a seed can become how great a seed can become if only it is willing to die now before jesus left he said as the father sent me so send are you so if he came as seed he sent us to be seeds and he expects us to follow the process that he went through without contact with soil seed cannot be maximized and that's why the tiniest seed has the potential of becoming a great tree if you see a seed inside this is a great tree so inside every believer is potential to be great jesus came potentially as great but the greatness did not emerge until he contacted death when you sow a seed you have literally sentenced it to death in the soil and that's what our destiny is about we can never maximize destiny without dedication just any seed no matter how little or ugly it looks can become great and that's why no matter how low you are as a child of god pushed to the corner thrown in the gutter beaten and battered you can change the course of your life by dedication we just had testimony tonight of those three young men beaten battered the one who led the testimony called all kinds of name one trouser preacher because he was recognized by that one trouser he wore, he wore every time but he was sold out not one month not one year two years three years before the seed came out as a tree it may take a while in your dedication but your end is distinction I thought somebody said amen to that yeah. it may take a while being dedicated being lost but your end is distinction that's how your end your life will end in genesis chapter 8 verse 22 the seed must go as long as the heart remains seed time and harvest it's an established law just anything can be made out of you if you are dedicated if you know no man if you have no contact with anyone other than being dedicated your destiny is sure to be distinguished somebody say amen to that <laughs> every one of us who have been dedicated to serving god very shortly your world will tell your story <laughs> mark chapter 4 verses 30 to 33 we saw the mystery as jesus described it and he said whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of god or with what comparison shall we compare it it is like a grain of mustard seed which when it is sown you see every time jesus mentioned seed he mentioned about sowing it because what makes the seed is sowing it when it is sown in the heart when it gets lost in dedication is less than all the seeds that be in the hearts but when it is sown it grows up your destiny will grow up <laughs> and become it greater than all herbs and shoot it out great branches very soon you will be known with branches <laughs> branches in your business branches in your career pursuit for ministers branches in your ministries so that the fowls of the air who despise it before may lodge under the shadow of it people will come to lodge under your shadow if you sow your seed you will grow up boss will come to 
fine shadow if you don't sow your life as a seed birds will eat you up seeds unsown is at the risk of being eaten by birds but when it is sown it becomes a shade for the birds that will have eaten it so our security lies in our dedication dedication is key to maximizing returns on our stewardship dedication is the spiritual soil for fruitfulness of destiny just as soil is a necessity to a seed so is your dedication a necessity to your destiny it's not what you like to do but a necessity to your soul it's not convenient but it's necessity to your destiny what then is dedication number one dedication is serving god without reservation matthew 22 37 and 38 serving god without reservation not holding back anything hear what jesus said thou shalt love the lord thy god with all your heart no reservation with all your soul with all your mind if you remove these three things from man what remains of him nothing this is the great the first and great commandment what does that mean being dedicated is the great commandment that leads to man's greatness if you want to become great sow your life as a seed dedicated unto the lord number two what is dedication dedication means to be dead to self and alive unto god in the pursuit of any kingdom task paul the apostle is an example for me to live is christ for me to die is gain philippians chapter 1 verse 21 first corinthians chapter 6 verse 16 paul was so dedicated that he placed a curse on himself if he preached not the gospel for though i preach the gospel i have nothing to glory of for necessity is laid on me say with me necessity that is a language of dedication it's not a language of convenience there are those who are serving god in convenience it won't take you far years ago in the testimony of god's servant he said concerning some people they will say ah brother david you are taking this thing too hard you are taking it too hard it's not as serious those who didn't take it serious then are on the floor those who took it serious like him are enjoying the beauty and the glory of it if you don't take it hard you never fly necessity is laid on me if i preach not the gospel woe unto me number three what is dedication dedication is all about making one's life a seed unto god after the order of christ we've mentioned that earlier what is dedication dedication is all about being sold out to god and to the advancement of his kingdom being sold out to god And to the advancement of his kingdom dedication also means in the word of god's servant being deadly committed to a cause deadly committed tying your life to it if you sink you sink if you survive you survive not having an alternative burning the bridge no turning back that is dedication I also define dedication as being sold out to a cause at a cost being sold out to a cause at a cost if it costs you nothing it will pay you nothing any assignment that does not cost you something including shame and reproach will never pay you anything 
If you have not been mocked for serving God, query your dedication. If you have not been abused for following Jesus, perhaps you are yet to be as dedicated. Because God will allow people to mock you before he will make you. They will laugh at you with the laughter of jest before God will glorify you with the laughter of joy. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. Very shortly, people will surround you to laugh at your victory. They will laugh with you for the liftings of your life. When I was growing up, especially coming up into ministry, I never had any message from any of my relations to even find out how are you doing there. But when the glory began to come from the seed zone, calls were coming in from left, right, and center. Just to know how you are doing. When can we come to see you? I said, wait first. <laughs> Nobody checks the seed in the soil. No. The seed is paying the price for its glorification. So when people don't check on you, they mock you, they think you are crazy for serving the Lord the way you are, just tell them to wait. Because very soon they will see your glory. I say very soon they will see your glory. For every true believer in this assembly and beyond, serving the Lord, very shortly your glory will show. I thought somebody saying a louder amen to that. What is dedication? Just one more. It is binding yourself, binding yourself to a cause. Tie your life to serving Jesus. Jesus all the way. Come sun, come rain. Morning, afternoon, evening. Jesus all the way. That is what it means to be dedicated no one ever regrets following after jesus if he truly does so until your life become a seed and willingly sown to the kingdom hearts you can never experience supernatural fruitfulness in this kingdom dedication to god and the interest of his kingdom is the mystery behind the rise of giants we saw the story of abraham as a great example of dedication a dedicated patriarch who stood in the gap to pray for sodom and gomorrah who stood before the lord to sacrifice his son at the end of the day he became a great reference point as we see it in Isaiah chapter 51 verses 1 to 3, it became a reference point from the mouth of God to the people of that time. Jesus Christ is our perfect example on the subject of dedication. We saw what happened to Jesus. John chapter 10 verses 17 to 18. He said, wherefore, therefore doth my father love me because i lay down my life do you want to win the love of god lay down your life you don't win the love of god by singing but by laying down your life you don't win the love of god without laying down your life it is lives that are dedicated that gets the attention of god if you want to get God's attention, dedicate yourself to him. And in verse 18, he went further to say, No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. If you watch every seed sown, it has capacity to come out by itself. Nobody helps seed to come out of the ground as plant. So it is natural 
once you sow yourself as a seed to the soil you leave it there it's natural what follows dedication is distinction when it is time for the seed to become plant no matter how hard the surface of the soil is it cannot be stopped when you are dedicated enough when it is time for you to be distinguished nobody can stop you no devil can stop you no force on the heart can stop you no economic situation can stop you once you pay the price of dedication the next class is distinction but this calls for patience it calls for patience look at the example of jesus hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 it calls for patience wherefore sin also sin we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does easily beset us and let us run with patience look at that with patience with patience the race that is set before us this is where many believers miss it they can't wait looking unto jesus who showed us the example of how to be patient because for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross cross represents dedication he represents i mean he he endured the cross he endured the pain of dedication despising the shame not minding who is mocking him and when he has done that is now set down at the right hand of the throne of god thrones awaits the dedicated you will get there yeah. i say you will get there yeah. you will not miss your throne yeah. i say you will not miss your throne yeah. when you pay your due of dedication what is the next level enthronement enthronement people look at the beauty of this ministry today you need to find out the patience that was being engaged with patience with patience with patience you all know or at least many of us who know about farming the kind of product you are expecting from your farm depends on how long the seed takes to become plant if you want vegetable for instance maybe three four days the seed develop into plant if you want corn within three four months it develops into plant if you want yam it will take maybe about six months if you want cocoa it will take you about four or five years but the value of the cocoa cannot be compared with the value of vegetable so when it is looking long and longer for you in your dedication without seeing the harvest stay on in the soil that means it's not done with you yet because when the soil is done with you it springs you forth he said the heart yielded by itself first the blade the air and then the full come patience is required if you are not patient you cannot be dedicated if you are in a hurry you cannot be distinguished the moment a farmer goes to open the soil to check how the seed is doing it has already killed it many of us go back to check over and over again unnecessarily hey why is god not blessing me yet hey why am i not seeing the result yet it is not your duty the heart bringeth forth fruit of his own the heart the heart the heart you are not the owner of the soil you are just a seed yours is to throw yourself in the belly of the soil leave the remaining to the soil leave the remaining to the soil 
throw yourself into the hand of God. He knows what he's doing. He's aware they are mocking you. He's aware they are jesting you. He's aware that you are under the sun, somewhere under the bridge, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's watching. When people mock you, he's watching. As a young pastor sent on church planting mission in this commission, one man, a prominent pharmacist, then in that town, began to mock us. And he said, These small, small boys is because they don't have work, that's why they are calling to ministry. It was a bad mockery, especially when everything was inside the sitting room, sitting room. Church was inside sitting room, bedroom was inside sitting room. Guest room was inside his room. The bench of the church is what I borrowed as my bed. How would they say that? But I vowed that as the Lord lives, this man will come to bow to me in this town. And I tell you, exactly five years after, he came physically on his knees. We are sorry for everything we have said about you. Now we know that your life is a great one. It may take time patiently wait your neighbors may mock you for preaching everywhere by the street corner they may call you jobless they may mock you for everything but it's only for a while so get dedicated we have heard a lot about praying praying kingdom advancement prayer we've heard about soul winning we have heard about financial stewardship they are all platform for you to exhibit your dedication to the lord stay at it it's only for a while the mockery will be turned into divine making <laughs> very shortly all who have despised you will come under the shadow of your branches they call you unemployed today very soon you will employ them they mock you for not having enough food to eat today. Just stay undedicated to the Lord. Stay undedicated to the Lord. They will come back to bow and bend at your feet. In the precious name of Jesus. James chapter 5 verse 7. Tells us about the husband man that patiently wait. Verse 7. Be patient therefore brethren unto the coming of the lord this is not just about second coming of the lord but unto his visitation to change your level behold the husband man waited for the precious fruit of the heart out of the seed he sold and at long patient for it patient long patient until he received the heart the early and the later end that means it will come first early and then later early and later one day i was privileged to be with god's servant in kaduna we were driving around the stadium roundabout and we saw one man there and so i said can you see that man he was one of the people who was mocking this ministry when god's servant will be talking about god blessing us with the aircraft say these people don't even have sense they will call church members and ask them aren't you people thinking does he know how much they are selling the aircraft and all of you believe in him he used to have a car then but now he was waiting for boss by the roundabout your mockers will go into hiding <laughs> will you lift up your hand and receive grace for dedication receive grace for dedication and patiently so father grant me the patience required grant me the patience required grant me the patience required in my stewardship in soul winning in praying kingdom advancement prayer in my giving grant me the grace required to stay on to stay on to stay on i will not query you i will not question you i will follow you i know you know what you are doing with my life as a seed so shall it be in jesus precious name may the father of heaven who have granted the grace for patience to his servant and to this entire ministry to arrive at where it is today give you that grace in the name of jesus <laughs> so shall it be will the choir lead us singing praise jubilating and celebrating jesus